Thank you for joining us for our song and story this morning. Nathaniel, what did you do? I just gave him a, a whole ton of treats. A whole ton of treats? Do you think he likes that? Yeah, he's eating. Yeah. Should we sing a song for our dog? Uh, I'm still giving him treats. You're still giving him treats? Oop, looks like the kitty cat might want a treat, too. Can you give her a little tiny piece? I'll be kind to my kitty. I will feed him, too. I'll be kind to my kitty cat. Because Jesus wants me to. Oh, no. I'll be kind to my puppy. I will feed him too. I'll be kind to my puppy dog. Because Jesus wants me to. Really far in the forest? Which animal? I don't know. Maybe the cat? Maybe the dog? What do you think? You're going far? Shall we go for a walk today? A walk today? A walk today? Shall we go for a walk today? To see what God has given? We have our puppy dog coming with us today. Look at that. We're going to place. Really? We're going to place. Hmm. So for our book this morning, we're going to read the book called Forest Animals. We're in the forest. We're taking a walk and a crawl. And we've got our animal friends with us. Let's see. Hey, Doodlebug. There are many forest animals. Some are active in the day and some prefer the night. A blue jay flies around all day long. The blue jay squawks its name, Jay, Jay, Jay. Every bird has a different song. A deer, the mother deer is called a doe. She keeps her baby close. Her baby is called a fawn. Hi, Pookie. You're being a little difficult. It has white spots so it can hide easily in the bushes. The father deer is called a stag. He has antlers on his head. Oh, look, here's a squirrel. Squirrels have long furry tails and hunt for nuts to eat. Squirrels live in the forest, too. They chatter with each other all day long. Cookie. Turtlebug, what you doing? The rabbits in the forest live in homes underground. They hop around looking for grass and leaves to nibble. What you doing, Drudes? A chipmunk sits in the sun. It will soon look for nuts to eat. Some of the nuts it eats now and others it hides for later. A snake comes out of its hole in the ground and finds a nice sunny place to stop and rest. As it grows, it will shed its old skin and leave it behind on the ground. Do you remember, Nathaniel, we saw some snake skins yesterday when we were cleaning out the barn? Yeah. Oh, they kind of scared Mommy, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't scare you? Yeah. I'm glad. Mommy's not a big snake fan. We also saw a black snake in our barn yesterday. At night, the owl comes out of the tree to hunt for food. It flies so quietly, it can sneak up on the tiny animals on the ground. A raccoon have a face that look like they're wearing a mask. Raccoons look for food around the forest after dark, along with another forest creature that has a particularly bad odor. Raccoons look for food after dark. 
Can you guess what animal has a particularly bad smell? That's right, it's a skunk. Skunks don't spray their stinky, stinky scent unless they're frightened. So it's best to stay far away from a skunk while walking in the forest. The end. Forest animals. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Come back again, we'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye, we'll see you tomorrow.